Now we're going to talk about my favorite aspect of 3D Coat, which is UV layout. Uh, by no, no one likes UV layout, but it's necessary evil. But in 3D Coat, I feel like it's, it's far beyond like Maya and uh, other tools I've used. Uh, I actually will export models into 3D Coat just to UV map, and then just if, just use that for for a lot of uh, simpler objects. So I've basically um, re UV map this in a bad way so that it's not the default which is already correctly done or in a better way so this is the uh, just that generic shape the one confusing thing in 3D coat I think is um, what's here this is a preview and then what's actually applied to the object so uh, because I haven't applied this if I go back to paint room and we look at the texture editor, it's still the old proper UVs because I haven't applied them. So if we go back to the UV space, we still have that. So if I say apply UV set, now when I go over to the paint room, it's actually, because that even does a UV preview, so now you'll see it's all messed up in here as well. Messed up. <laughs> so what I want to show you is basic, just like some basic functionality. So if you hit auto seam, this is already just auto seamed, in, but it starts at least out in a pretty nice way. One of the nice things is you can hit. So if you hit, uh, if you click on an edge, it'll make a new island, and it'll show you what that island looks like unwrapped. If you hit Control and click on an edge, you actually combine these islands together, and so you can see over here this representation of what it will look like when it's unwrapped. So this is still what we're working with, but as soon as I unwrap it, that piece will then unwrap and it'll automatically place the, the UVs into the optimal position. So now we can see this is the object. Red uh, and blue basically stand for like stretch and compression, kind of, because it d not, doesn't really exist in exactly that way, but that's kind of what it's trying to show. It's sort of like the points of like how many pixels per distance so blue means compressed and like simply I mean that's not exactly what it means and red means stretched I think or bigger so if I would it doesn't necessarily mean stretch because I can actually scale this up and it becomes red because it's now stretched bigger than those by comparison so super handy though because you can find like so I see that this is overlapping at a few points so I can come in and say well let's just cut this leg off and let's put this whole tail together so those look like they're selected, but they're not. And the, so the two methods of auto um, topology is auto seams uh, and then sharp seams. So sharp seams is going to say like it'll make a cut at a certain crease angle, um, which is good for like spaceships if uh, or just getting you started. Um, so if I'm like doing something like hard surface, I might use sharp seams, and if I'm doing something like this, I might start with auto, just this auto seam. You have a couple of unwrap methods, <coughs> but essentially you can just look at the picture, and it'll give you an idea of how it's going to unwrap or pack. So unwrap is basically going to make it so that the objects are unfolded in here, and then you have different ways if you want to pack them in, um, different ways of arranging the islands. So you can also come in... Um, one of the things that's very useful for um, for spaceships and for hard services is two planar. So right now this is unwrapped as if Maya like does that uh, relax, but you can say two planar, and I mean of course for this one it's going to be totally jacked because it goes. You know you can see if I was going a top-down view, but it does a perfect planar projection. So I'm just undoing that. Uh, I find that really useful. Um, but essentially just um, just being able to come in here chop things up the way you want and I feel like you get a quick l understanding of like if something's gonna be totally messed up let's see let's do something that'll definitely mess it up so here's like uh, let's see well the idea is more that you can find pieces let's see this piece here find that 
Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so what we're, when I, I thought that thing was highlighted, it's because I had it selected, so you can deselect it, and then it stops having that highlight, so that's a But, um, anyway, so this piece here, You may want to cut up in a different way, but it's just I find so fast to be able to do UV mapping this way. And with the automatic coloring of the islands, I think that it quickly says, you know, when you get like those, sometimes when you do it an automatic, you, it's like these two pieces, and it's like, oh, I don't want just two pieces right there. That's not good for texturing. Anyway, so this is the a quick overview <coughs> of, uh, oh yeah, so then after you've done all this, so you do, like you've done your new cuts, so then you would say unwrap it'll unwrap and it's gonna uh, pack it in so I might say despite that some of these things are messed up right now I'll say okay I like that and let's do and you can always hover over and it'll pop up and say how it's going to it's got like the help documentation essentially a shorthand of it right here so I'm gonna say okay I want this way, this method of packing and it's gonna redo the packing. It'll say sometimes it'll say this doesn't rotate, this does rotate. Um, so just read that really quick. And then you can also come in here, let's just say this piece is like his eye or something and that's important so you want to scale that up to have a little bit more texture space. And then you say apply UV set. And then as soon as you see everything moving again you can come over here, double check that it's there, and then you can just say export model. So that's just a quick way to run through of the UV map.